It sounds like a nightmare scenario fabricated by technophobes. Major US airlines are worried new 5G frequencies could interfere with aircraft aviation systems. They even wrote a letter urging the US government to intervene immediately. Is it safe to fly with 5G? Two US mobile service providers have launched a new improved 5G standard. Sounds like good news for US smartphone users, but maybe not for air travelers using a US airport. Major US airlines have been saying for a long time that the new 5G standard could pose a risk to air travel. Potential interference is especially possible near big airports such as Dallas, New York, Chicago and Seattle. When deployed next to runways, the 5G signals could interfere with key safety equipment that pilots rely on in inclement weather, United Airlines said in a statement. 5G relies on radio signals. The radio frequencies used for 5G are in a spectrum called C-band. They are close to the ones used by aircraft instruments, too close, according to US airlines. So is 5G really a threat to aviation? Well, um, I, I, I don't believe that 5G will negatively impact airplanes. Um, however, there has been some concern, especially in the US, about uh, 5G signals interfering with uh, radio altimeters. An altimeter measures the distance between plane and ground. In poor visibility, for example, altimeters are extremely important for automated landing maneuvers. A malfunction of the equipment could have devastating consequences. 5G is already widely used worldwide. Why do these concerns occur now? Were other countries careless? Across the world, there were very careful studies done by the telecom regulators about the interference and, and they haven't uh, concluded that there are issues with altimeters, although they operate obviously across the world. South Korea, where 5G penetration is one of the highest worldwide, did not notice any problems with aviation. And according to the regulators in the EU, 5G interference has not resulted in aircraft system malfunctioning. To be fair, 5G bandwidth in Korea and Europe are different to the ones in the US and interference is even less likely. 5G systems and mobile systems are typically have very good filters so they don't uh, their uh, emissions do not spill out um, and that has been a, a very important part of 5G to design this uh, such that they don't spill out into uh, adjacent bands. But in some other countries safety issues are being raised as well. In Canada, for example, buffer zones have been installed around airports where 5G signals are restricted. And French authorities recommended all passengers switch off mobile phones with 5G when flying. US aviation agencies and airlines are particularly outspoken against 5G. And criticism is louder than in most other countries. The rollout of the new 5G technology has already been postponed twice to give the airlines time for security checks and measures. So the issue uh, could be that the receivers of altimeters, their um, filters are maybe not as good and therefore they could pick up a, a very, um, very, very, very low uh, spillovers. But, but that is something to be investigated. Um, and I think that that's an area that in the US they are looking. If you look in other countries where 5G have been deployed in these bands, US has been a bit... Um, sort of a behind in allocating the, the C bands. For now, buffer zones around 50 US airports have been established. 5G providers will limit their activities there. But these buffer zones are much smaller than the zones already being used in Europe. And US transmitters will operate at significantly higher power levels. One thing is clear safety has to come first. In my opinion, it has to be both mobile service providers and airlines that guarantee we travel safely. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Bye.